Ah, uh, the orgasm. We tend to talk about the orgasm as this magical moment of pure bliss that's the culmination of our sexual activity. Yet, like many of my exes, we actually know very little about orgasms. Especially when it comes to how orgasms differ at the intersections of gender and sexual orientations. Recognizing the lack of research in this area, Karen Blair, Jacqueline Capel, and Caroline Pucall recently conducted a study exploring which sexual activities result in frequent or satisfying orgasms between men and women across different sexualities. Before we get into that, we do actually know a bit about the differences in orgasms between cisgendered men and women. Women typically report orgasms in about 40 to 65% of sexual activity. Men, however, report 85 to 95%. Dang, that's a big difference. One possible reason for this is heteronormative scripts. No, that's not an unsubtly named Michael Bay movie, but instead the cultural ideas of what is normal when it comes to sex and sexuality. And these heteronormative scripts tend to favor activities that lead to male orgasms over female orgasms, like penis and vagina intercourse. <coughs> Men are given far more agency than women in sexual activity. And speaking of heteronormativity, where are the queers? When researching human sexuality, we rarely discuss same-sex relationships. We also just talk as if every orgasm was created the same, and never discuss how satisfaction may differ. Haven't we all had some pretty unsatisfying orgasms? I mean, I have. This study attempts to examine orgasm frequency and satisfaction across same-sex and mixed-sex relationships between men and women in 14 different sexual activities. 14 activities? I didn't even know there were that many. I had like two. So what would we find out? Are men more satisfied than women by orgasms? Are men in mixed sex relationships having more orgasms than those in same sex relationships? Do queer and straight women have the same satisfaction with their orgasms? Or is every lesbian right when they say they know how to treat a lady better in the bedroom? To analyze the data, participants were then put into four groups. Women in same-sex relationships, women in mixed-sex relationships, men in same-sex relationships, and men in mixed-sex relationships. So let's talk about some of the more interesting statistics that were discovered. Here's a scorecard showing who had the most frequent and satisfactory orgasms based on different sexual activities. For more details, check out the full video or, you know, the actual study. So where can we go with all this information? The results provide further evidence that suggests the reason men and women have different amounts of orgasms isn't because men and women are so different, but perhaps because of the different types of sex that different couple types have. For example, women reported no difference in the frequency of orgasms when they masturbated, regardless of their sexual orientation. But the number of orgasms differed greatly depending on if they were with a man or with a woman's sexual partner. A fact which we learn by comparing women in same and mixed sex relationships. So it isn't that women's ability to get off is in question, but rather the ability of their partner to get them off. Also, women in same sex relationships reported high frequency and satisfaction of orgasms, but women in mixed sex relationships didn't report the same. Score one for the lesbians. Women in same sex relationships reported more satisfying and frequent orgasms from clitoral manipulation, such an unromantic term, and oral sex, which may suggest that women in same-sex relationships may be more in tune with and adept at manipulating other women's bodies. Score two for the lesbians. And I think this means they take home the gold, yes? A lot of these differences may come down to those heterosexual scripts that we talked about before. In heterosexual relationships, the male orgasm tends to be the end of sex, which reduces the chance for their female partners to have as many, and more satisfying, orgasms as women in same-sex relationships, considering that there's no male orgasms to be had. Another interesting thing to note is that while men in mixed-sex relationships reported wanting to perform oral sex on their female partners more often, their female partners reported that they didn't want to receive receive oral sex more. While there are a variety of possible reasons to explain that, such as female partners not enjoying oral sex, though that doesn't match with women in same-sex relationships, it could also be possible that women simply didn't wish to reciprocate oral sex on men. Considering that women in mixed-sex relationships reported giving oral sex as not very satisfying, it's certainly a possibility. In the end, women in mixed-sex relationships reported the most frequent sexual activity that didn't end in any orgasm at all. But like we discussed before, 
This is unlikely due to an inability to reach orgasm and more likely to be a function of not engaging in the right kinds of activities that are more likely to get women off. The findings of this study show that sexual behavior and orgasm experiences do differ based on one's gender and the gender of one's partner. And as lesbians knew the whole time, women in same-sex relationships may have much to teach those in other relationships about having orgasms. So basically, straight dudes, if you wanna get your partner off, perhaps it's time you start taking notes from the lesbians. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to support this and similar LGBT inclusive research, please consider checking out some other videos and studies by KLB Research, as well as supporting them over on Patreon. Every dollar helps. So even if you only want to give $1 a month, please consider becoming a KLB patron.